Hey guys, it's the Diesel, just walking through my next Pokemon Platinum video. Uh, this was against uh, Plasma Dragon, and it was... Uh, yeah, it was a good match. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get to it. Uh, it was a monocolor match. Uh, he chose black, and I chose green. So yeah, I lit off my shiny Golbat, and he goes into his... Uh, yeah. And uh, I go for Super Fang, and Super Fang uh, does half, obviously. And uh, Bassy Down just goes for the Stone Edge, and it does a decent amount to my Golbat. Um, and yeah, so um, we both get our Leftos Recovery, and he goes. I go for Roost here, and uh, I don't think he saw that coming. And then after this, he realized it was one of those Stall Crobats or uh, Stall Golbats. So yeah, um, so right here we both get our leftovers recovery and uh, I score Super Fang again just to get him down a little bit further and uh, he goes for the Metal Burst which is a great prediction um uh yeah so I still didn't do half no so um I think he uh he switches out predicting me to taunt again and um yeah I do <laughs> I play very predictable there but yeah so, um, I switch out and go into Lily now, because, uh, if he's going to be offensive, uh, I know he really can't do too much with his, uh, stab electric moves. So, I hit the charge beam, but doesn't get the special attack raise. And right here, I just go for the leech seed. So, he goes to the signal beam, and I was not expecting signal beam. And this is a defensively bulky Meganium, so, yeah, that's going to do a decent amount. Um, which kind of sucked for me. But, uh... I know I'm probably going to have to switch here only because of the, uh, leech, uh, the leech seed recovery wasn't enough to put me back up to, uh, where I'd be in survivable range. But, uh, he predicts my switch to Golbat and goes to the charge beam but misses. So, uh, yeah, that kind of sucked for him. So bad for him. Sorry about that, Plasma. Um, and, uh, he switches out and goes in the make. And, uh, I go for the Toxic. He predicted me to go for the Toxic, uh, playing predictable again. But, uh, he goes to Switcheroo, and I saw that coming but there's nothing I really wanted to switch into so um I go for the super fang I lock myself in the super fang uh kinda sucks because this is my stall crowbat so uh yeah <laughs> so he goes to the flamethrower and what he doesn't know is this is my specially bulky crowbat and that flamethrower does jack shit to him which is awesome uh I switch out now and go into valor my Gallade. Um, as he switches out and goes into Black Death, and that was a terrible switch for him, uh, but he goes to the Sucker Punch there, and, uh, I expected the Sucker Punch to actually kill me, but it didn't, and I just go for the Close Combat, and that is definitely a dead Absol. Um, yeah, I think Absol's more white than black, but, uh, I'll let Plasma slide on that one. <laughs> but he goes into his Black Evil, and I know I think he took a Close Combat, so I gotta switch out and go into Pesto. Because, um, I know I got a Toxic, I think, otherwise, uh, he is gonna, if he's one of those, uh, curse ones, it's gonna suck. But this is his own original Umbreon, which I have seen before, but I just, it, I blanked it out. But, uh, this Umbreon is by far, I think, the most original, if not, the, the most original Pokemon I've ever faced. Uh, if you ever faced Plasma Dragon, uh, he's, all he does, all his Pokemon are always original, they're always, you know, fun to battle. Right there he goes for Snatch, I've never ever seen that work, ever, let alone used in competitive play, and he Snatches my Substitute, and I was like, fuck! So I go for Sword Stance here, not thinking that Snatch could actually steal that too, but, uh, later on he told me that, uh, actually could, and he was surprised that I went for it. But, um, yeah, so, now I just want to beat the sub. Um, and the Toxic is wearing him down. He goes to the Sucker Punch, predicting me to attack to break the sub. Um, but now he puts me in my Salic Berry range, which is great. Um, so I go for the Earthquake here. And that's going to take out the sub. And, yeah. Uh, he's going to get hurt by his Toxic now. And now it's just basically a prediction game, whether he thinks I'm going to attack him or go for a Swords Dance. Which I go for the Swords Dance, and he predicts that greatly and goes for the Payback. Uh, it really sucks, but whatever. It's a double down. Everyone loves double downs. Um, yeah, but that Umbreon is definitely very unique, very uh, original, one of a kind. Uh, yeah. So uh, I go into my Spectile, Spec Sceptile, as he goes into uh, Mufasa, his uh, Luxray. I just go for the Dragon Pulse. I don't know why. I thought it might KO, you know, Specs, but uh, it doesn't. And he goes to the Signal Beam, and I was like, okay. 
Well, I was definitely expecting, uh, you know, Dragon Pulse to kill. But I actually survived the Sigil which is awesome as well. So I was like, nice. Um, he goes in the Werewolf. I was expecting the Sucker Punch, uh, but I just wanted to see if he ha carried it. Um, and yeah, I died. I go into Pesto now. And he predicts that. Goes in the Wall, you bitch. I predict that and go for Super Fang, because he was predicting me to go for Toxic. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get some damage on this thing. I switch out, go into Lily, as he finally sets up his Stealth Rocks, and he just really wants my Crobat dead, my Golbat dead. And, uh, he's, he's talking to me throughout the entire match, he's like, dude, that freaking Golbat is so annoying. And look at this, I expect this Energy Ball to do nice damage, it does nothing. Absolutely nothing, I would have been much better off going for freaking, uh, Leech Seed there. And he gets the Freeze Hacks on Lily, and I was like, no. But, uh, yeah, he did get it, and, um, now he sends Zack out Snake, I'm still frozen, and, uh, I figure he's gonna go for Flamethrower or Poison Jab, uh, or, I mean, Sludge Bomb, and, uh, he does end up going for the Sludge Bomb, um, I knew I was dead either way, so, yeah, but, uh, that kinda sucked, but now I switch into my Rondo, my Yan Mega, and after this match I realized, yes, he is borderline, kind of sucked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Plasma. Um, yeah, so uh, everyone knows what freaking uh, Yon Megas do. They, you know, speed boost and uh, air slash bug buzz. You know, that shit. But uh, a lot of people have actually been using the uh, scarfed, um, scarf tinted lens one. But uh, yeah, bug buzz doesn't even kill that freaking thing, so it's got to be specially bulky. It's got to be. But um, yeah. Uh, so I go for the second bug buzz, take it out, um, yeah, I'm life orb too, which uh, a lot of Yanmegas actually aren't, they're usually like, uh, sashed and stuff like that, or wide lens for hypnosis, but, uh, yeah, he gets a sucker punch, uh, I actually completely forgot about it, and I was like, oh, sweet, but, uh, yeah, so I go on to pest now, and what I really should have done here was toxic instead of super fanged. Um, cause I do have delayed still with close combat, and, um, yeah. So he super fangs me, then goes to the sucker punch, and it's coming right down to the end of the match now, and I go into Valor, and I expect to die from Stealth Rocks, I don't, so I have a 9 health, he goes to sucker punch, and it fails, cause I go for trick, and he's like, ah, but I expect him to go for sucker punch again, I was gonna try and stall it out, but, uh, that's why I went for trick here, I was just dumb, I thought he was locked in the sucker punch, forgot that if he goes first he's not locked so uh i fail awesome match plasma dragon definitely look forward to another uh monocolor match this was a lot of fun but uh rate comments up guys and peace